Hey guys, JT here with a quick video of my Rustler 4x4, 4x4 uh, JT style. Um, you guys know that you could take a Stampede 4x4 and kind of turn it into a Rustler 4x4. Excuse the mess, so I'm kind of in the war room uh, going through a couple of things with it. So this is actually the Traxxas Rock and Roll Body. They stopped making this, but this is what came on the Brush Rustler um yeah about a year ago so tracks has changed up i wish they would have left this body because this body actually looked good so but this is on my lcg stampede 4x4 you can see got the lights right there on the front and stuff and got some new shoes on them got some anacondas as well um this lcg chassis as you guys can kind of see right there it does fit a little bit different than the standard chassis so i should have probably mounted the body back a little bit more so they can kind of cover up the hole there and not kind of stick and flab out over there and then the rear of it as well it should probably go back just a little bit more but I'm gonna kind of leave that as that is for now and then um, get some running on it so I still have the uh, Arma BLX system in here with I believe a 14 tooth I don't think it was a 15 tooth uh, pinion gear and it's still running 32 pitch gears and a 54 spur. And I'm going to be running this on 3S. But I did want to, I've been telling you guys I was going to do it. And it's been taking me a minute to kind of get around to doing this right here. Because I did have to mount the bodies. It does have, let's go ahead and take this off real quick. Since we're here, get these body clips off and show you guys kind of what I did. I mounted a little bit different than I did the other ones in the past. Um, in the past, I would just uh, drill a hole, but I don't have the plastic shock towers on. I have the aluminum one. So you can take the rear shock tower from the Stampede 4x4 and put that on the front, and it'll fit the body mounts for the stock Rustler um, holes that are pre-drilled in here. You will have to do some trimming, though, on this front. As you guys see, I kind of trimmed that there as well. And then also, um, the newer Rustler get this to focus in, does not come with the battery tray that's got these little, um, these pins where you stick this through there. It actually has this quick release um, flap right there. So you will have to purchase those and put those on the body post if you want the body to be lowered down. And like I said, this is from the rear of the chassis. Now on, or the rear of the A-arms, or shock towers. So on the rear of it, what I did was I just went ahead, um, there's two screws in here that go on for the rear body mount that kind of fit here. I just took that off because I want the body to sit lower. And I just use, as you guys see there, put those on there as well. And that helps keep it just a little bit lower. And then, of course, I just put two holes there in the rear of the body. You guys see there. That third hole is the original hole that comes for the two-wheel drive rustler. So um, I did this because um, some people have a Stampede 4x4. And they want to convert over. They don't want to have to buy a Rustler 4x4. So this is going to run uh, just as fast as my Rustler 4x4. Maybe we'll get out and get some running videos of the two together. But I also wanted to make sure I had lights on. As you guys see here, um, this does have lights and stuff on it, which everybody wants lights on their car, right? It doesn't have any on the rear end, but I may do some tail lights at some point. But this is a, you guys can see kind of how that's mounted in there. Traxxas sells this and they made this for the Stampede 4x4. So anyway, guys, I wanted to um, show this to you. And of course, the BLX system that's in there. So I wanted to kind of show this to you guys. Uh, the body fits a little bit tight and stuff, but I'll get that back on there in just a second. And see, it does sit up because it does fit kind of tight there. Put those body pins in it, in the rear of it, and we won't have that issue of it popping up. <laughs> there we go. So... Anyway, guys, wanted to show this to you. Uh, put your comments down below about this. And if you've done something similar, um, like I said, I'm not taking credit for converting a Stampede 4x4. I guess I'm the first one to convert a Stampede 4x4 to an LCG chassis. You guys have seen that run, and I'd be the first to convert it like this because it still has the um, shot guards on the front and on the rear for the uh, from the Stampede 4x4. So Jane was the first one to do it. If you guys get a chance, check out Ultimate RC. He was the first one to take a Rustler, and he put a 4S system in our 8-scale system and ran on 4S, and it flew. So anyway, guys, don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more videos. Thanks for watching.